Today, we're answering the question, how does Katitanda, or Lake Eyre, flood? Katitanda is a lake in central Australia. It has 3.9 stars on Google, so it's not doing too bad. And like many lakes in Australia, it often, in fact more often than not, doesn't have water in it. This lake floods approximately every three years and floods to filling about every century. When those floods happen, animals come from all over, birds come from all over, and it's a hub of wildlife. There's also huge flourishings of beautiful wildflowers. But the question is, where does that water come from? Because Katitanda is located in Central Australia, which is notably a very dry part of, well, the world. What actually happens is that there are floods and rainfalls all over what's known as the Lake Eyre Basin, which is a huge area, approximately one-sixth of the Australian landmass, where it regularly rains, it regularly floods, and that entire area drains into Lake Eyre Katitanda. This is largely because Katitanda is one of the lowest points, is the lowest point on the Australian landmass. As we all know, water likes to roll downhill, so gradually water rolls downhill from all across the Lake Eyre Basin into Katitanda. This area is known as the channel country because the water gets channeled into Katitanda. Really important to note that when there is a flood over the Lake Eyre Basin, it takes a long, long time to gradually drain into Katitanda. It's a very, very slow process. Obviously, there's also a huge amount of evaporation and loss of the water as it moves across the landscape. All of this is happening because Katitanda is a super low spot on the Australian continent, sitting at approximately 15 metres below sea level. So water is slowly travelling across the landscape, filling up Katitanda. Because of the nature of this landscape, this water is super saline, so it's incredibly salty. So for a period of time, the lake will flood, then as it gets sunnier, as it does in central Australia, the water will evaporate and gradually Katitanda will become dry again. And so the cycle continues. Katitanda Lake Eyre is one of many fascinating lakes in Australia. Classic lake system, many more to come. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be awesome if you liked and subscribe. You're a legend.